Well hello there everybody and welcome to today's video. In this one I've got something pretty uh, pretty crazy for you. Um, 250 Indominus Rexes versus 250 Indoraptors. Now with these same graphical settings um, I've not been having any problems playing the game um, but now my frame rate's tanking a little bit and I can only imagine what's going to happen when I release 500 Indoraptors and <laughs> Indominus Rexes together, 250 of each. So what I've done is I've took a Nublar um, 2015, flattened it, built 100 hatcheries, kitted them out, each one individually alternates between five Indominuses, five Indoraptors. And the aim of the game today is it's going to be the biggest battle royale yet seen on YouTube of, um, you know, dinosaurs battling in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now, if you remember, I did something similar in Jurassic World Evolution 1, um, where I managed to get like 600 Indoraptors all battling. Um, yeah, basically... If this is successful, which it may be, it may not be, um, expect bad frame rates. But if this is um, successful, then um, I will do the same thing again. But I'll literally just try and break the game with Velociraptors or Struthia Mimus. I can probably hatch about 40 of them out of each hatchery and just keep hatching until the game just no longer decides to work. So the rules today are that, um, yeah, diseases are off injuries are on by default anyway um everything can fight and we'll just see what is left at the end um if it is just simply one indominus or one indoraptor that is the key um that is the key state that i'd like to be in at the end of this then the winner will go into this lovely oversized paddock that i have prepared and going forwards it will remain there as the alpha winner of this battle royale and I'll come up with a silly name for it by the end of the video, you know, <laughs> something really good depending on what skin colour it is and all that lot. Um, yeah, we'll come up with a really, uh, really cool name for him. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Just stick a like on it, please. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done already. If you'd like to unlock all this stuff for yourself on PC, I will link my save file um, video down below. 100% unlocked. All the database entries are now complete as well. So it is literally the definitive 100% save file to unlock everything on PC if you so choose. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, now for each hatchery, I have selected different skin patterns from all. So they will all look different. In theory, um, I don't know how different they're all going to look. Um, I'm not going to list off which skin patterns they are. When it comes down to the last few, I'll look at what skin patterns they are. We'll kind of work that out. But um, first of all then, let's go into uh, sandbox settings and uh, mess about with some settings in there and uh, just see what's going on. So first of all, look, we'll keep the weather day. Synthesizing failure, that don't matter. No disease. Dinosaurs don't starve because there's no food on this map. Uh, they don't dehydrate. Lifespan is unlimited. That doesn't mean they're going to have infinite health. That just means they won't die of old age. So that's good. Uh, dinosaur comfort um, is on. We, we want that on because we want to make sure that they're really aggravated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no doubt about that. Um, dinosaur vehicle aggression, unlimited power. I'm just checking all of these things, you see. Uh, cash, yeah, appeal, none of that really means anything. Okay, I'll get back to you when I'm about to hatch. So here we go then. I'm going to start releasing. Um, <laughs> this is going to be absolute um, bedlam. Yeah, it took many, many hours to get this set up. So yeah, this is going to take a while, I think. Okay, we'll go through them. Release. Oh, I hope it's not going to do that on every hatchery. That's going to be a bit irritating. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. No. I wish I could turn that off. There we go. Henry Wu wants to say a piece. Hold a minute. Let's let us let him have his say. There we go. Something about Indoraptors and Indominuses, yeah? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Thank goodness I can just scroll through buildings here. We're only on Hatchery 7. Now, before I did do this, um, I did make one hatchery just testing um, something out. So, it says there's 101 hatcheries, but it actually starts at number 2, so... Yeah, um, I may have to get back to you when I've uh, unleashed these. I'll I'll do a quick montage. How's about that? And I'll get back to you when 
these are all released. I think that's going to be the best uh, the best plan for this because this is going to take a very, very long time. Right, let's just take a quick glance at this. I mean, they're already fighting and I've only done like 15 hatcheries so far. This is going to be absolutely bedlam. Right, back to hatching. Okay, so this is taking far longer than expected. Hatchery 20. Ah! Oh my goodness. This is going to be bedlam. <laughs> Um, okay, so it's at this moment I've got to about hatchery 20. The game has crashed already. So I've put the graphical settings down. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hope for the best. I'll get back to you when I'm about at hatchery 20, okay? Okay, so I'm still going and I'm just hoping that there's not a crash. I'm at hatchery 34. Come on. I need to get all 100 released. 500. Come on. Jurassic World Evolution 1 could handle uh roughly 700 before it crashed um i know it's not a memory issue because i've got 32 gigs of ram and an i9 processor like 9900k that should not be the issue if there's any issue here it will be my graphics card it is a little bit out of date but it's uh it's definitely not been too bad so far um i've been able to run the game like 4k like medium to high on 4k but the sheer amount of hatcheries on this map, with them all packed full of these dinosaurs, is pretty insane, and I'm expecting a crash any second. But, fingers crossed that doesn't happen. We'll just have to see. Okay. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see, but this is looking pretty, pretty spectacular so far. Now, I have tried pausing, but whenever I release a dinosaur, it unpauses, and I ain't got time to be stopping to pause every hatchery I, I just simply can't do that so <laughs> i'm just releasing them as quickly as possible so <laughs> hopefully hopefully we don't get a crash um you'll know if we do because i'll cut off like mid-sentence but okay so uh yeah we had another crash um so what i've done is i've gone down to 1080p lowest graphical settings possible just to make this <laughs> just to make this happen now i must say that even on the lowest it still doesn't look it still doesn't look too bad that's the lowest on 1080p i'm, I'm actually i'm actually quite amazed right I'll, I'll get back to you then when i've released a few more dinosaurs let's see how this goes it definitely seems to be running a bit smoother there we go it does seem like it was a graphics issue so once again, fingers crossed that this game engine, my graphics card, whatever, can hold out in the midst of all this. I know it's not properly optimised yet, that's the thing, because uh, there was a patch uh, the other day for this, and basically a load of people said the game runs far worse with more crashes since the patch. So, uh, hopefully, I can see this through. Hopefully. I don't want to do this again. Oh, Henry Wu, come on. There's, there's, there's several hundred. 250 of each, Henry Wu. You don't need to be moaning. That's the last thing I need right now. Come on. My heart's actually racing getting all of these out. It really is. Okay, come on. Like I say, all, all of these have individual skin patterns. I feel like the game's slowing a little bit. There we go. 1080p. The game's never looked this bad for me. I will be honest. It doesn't look, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, it, it's passable. It's... Uh, early ps4 era <laughs> graphics <laughs> it's okay there we go oh my goodness oh my goodness look at the look at the lack of shadows oh my god really undiagnosed ailments everywhere uh ingrown claws broken claws broken teeth i imagine wow um they're still releasing all across the board can the can the game handle this um <laughs> gotta love the no shadows um yeah that's that's crazy okay um once the numbers start to dwindle a little bit i may put the graphics settings back up <laughs> but for now there's no way i'm getting the transport helicopters to deal with all of that carnage no way all i want is one clear winner at the end oh my goodness look at that Indominus taken down by an Indoraptor. Let's have a look. Skins are looking pretty good for potato mode. That's all right. Go on. What's what's going to happen here? Oh, it's it's auto cycled me back. No, I was I was in the middle of that. 
Uh, it's I coming back. Ooh, that was nasty. Go on, just trying to get a snapshot of what's happening here in the battle. I'd like a quick breakdown, really, of uh, how many's left on each side. This game's not really geared for massive battle royales. Oh, I like the colour pattern on that Indominus there. Blue and kind of greyish. Very, very nice. What did it do? It just ran off injured. Ah, oh, that's no good. Look how many dead ones there is. My goodness. Just just to get a, an idea. Let's see how many dead ones there is already. Ooh, dearie me. There's no amount of clicking. I'll get back to you in a moment when I've uh, paused the game and... Uh, yeah, uh, hoovered a load of these uh, dead dinosaurs up, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this has been paused for a while and the notifications are still scrolling in. <laughs> wow, I'm quite impressed so far of how it's going. I'm still, still hoovering these guys up, hundreds of them. It's going to take ages for this battle to fully play out. Um, but that's where the fast forward comes in. You know, I'm happy to do a little bit of fast forwarding. Um, and then start closing down the enclosures a little bit with new fences just to kind of keep the keep the action nice and uh, nice and confined. I do want an ultimate winner out of this, though, to go to the uh, the promised land <laughs> where they'll live the rest of their infinite life in definitely not captivity conditions. It's not a zoo, it's a reserve. There's, there's a difference. <laughs> I'm doing it for their own good. Okay, there's too many. We need to cull them. Let them cull themselves. My God, there's so many dead ones. Notice the, the, the pickup on this is a bit laggy as well. By the time I've hit it, it's a bit slow. That's, that's normally when I play as well. It's not just on this crazy big mode, big battle royale mode. Wowzer. Okay, I'm, ne I'm nearly done scooping these up. And hopefully the transport teams hurry up. I'd, I'd, I would like to get my graphics settings back up at some point. Back up to 4K would be nice, but, you know, clutching at straws a little bit there. Okay, right, I think we're nearly done. I'm, 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 I'm not necessarily going to pick them all up. Oh, wait, no. Oh, so only the last few. Excellent. Excellente. Okay. That looks as though I've got most of them. Okay, right, let's get back to the action then. Unpause and get back to the uh, to the mode. Here we go. In comes the transport teams. They're like, oh my God, what happened here? <laughs> you know, I may even be willing to reattempt this live as well. So if you want that, just let me know in the comments. And my next live stream, I may do this live. Obviously, we'll have the winner. We'll have the winner in... Uh, in this lovely giant enclosure over here. Definitely big enough for an Indominus Rex over there. Okay, time to hit fast forward a bit. Let's see Let's see how this plays out. There's going to be tons more dead ones already. Fast forward just kills my frame rate with that many dinosaurs on the go. Okay, undiagnosed ailments. Yeah, like like the space for a medical team. <laughs> yeah, no one's, no one's got time for that. <laughs> okay, how many more alive ones is there? Still quite a few. There's still a bit of battling to go. Is it mainly... It's mainly Indominus Rexes that are left. Come on, we need them, we need them battling. The Indominus is definitely... Uh, Seem to have the upper hand. There's more of them, most definitely. Oh dear. Okay, we've still got a lot to uh, a lot to deal with. <laughs> Fast forward. Right, I'm happy to hit expanded speed controls as well. Thank you, Kyodenic, for the uh, expanded speed controls. So we're actually running at like 16 times speed. Look at these guys. Oh, these guys are raving. Yeah, donk, 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 donk. <laughs> oh, dearie me. This is, this is pure bedlam. Right, let's, let's go to transport then. And, oh my goodness. Okay. There's more dead ones. There's definitely more dead ones. What's that guy doing? Wow. He, yeah, the AI's not broken at super fast speeds. Definitely not. Have we already scooped up all them other dead ones? That's crazy. No, that, no, we can't have. Well, let's get all these dead ones out of the way and then I'll, I'll have a good idea of what's left. 
I hope it's not loads of Indominus. That's going to really, uh, really annoy me that. They look pretty balanced uh, on the stats page, the Indominus and the Indoraptor. But the, the battles definitely are slowing somewhat. Okay. And you know what? I may even be tempted to open the park after this. <laughs> it's close to visitors at the minute. We definitely don't want, you know, animal welfare showing up seeing this. You know, this is this is for the private investors only. This uh, this spectacle. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Yes, we've we've got fatalities. Asset transport. Yes, yes, yes. I do apologize about that annoying uh, asset person. There we go. Asset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I may have my headset too loud. And that's starting to irritate me somewhat. Okay. Scooping them up. Yes. Now, in theory, the, the Indominuses should be fighting each other. But they're not. And you can't be telling me. You can't be telling me that they're not going to be fighting each other. Acknowledging. Okay. Is that what we're left with? It does seem to be Indominuses versus Indoraptors. Now, you see the thing is, it does seem to be that it's mainly Indominuses left. What can I do to get these guys fighting? I don't know, but the Indoraptors are now dropping like flies. And this is on like 16 times speed. Imagine how long this would have took without them speed controls. Mmm, a very, very long time. It is. It's just fear. It's just now fields of Indominuses. Okay. Well, we definitely don't want that, do we? We're gonna have to find some solution for that. How many are left? Ooh, that's a lot. That is definitely a lot. But it seems as though require status. Require status. No, no, no. There's still just a few. Still just a few Indoraptors left. They don't really stand a chance, though, against the Indominus, do they? But I thought we'll keep it even. Um, at this rate, there's going to be a lot of Indominuses going into this... Uh... <laughs> there's going to be a lot of Dom Indominuses going into uh, the Promised Land enclosure. You know, capacity one. Mm, almost one. But we can we can definitely trank these guys up and get them in there. Um and that's where they'll remain. Um, <laughs> the, the star attractions will remain in there. Hopefully, we'll get some hilarious results trying to cram them all in there. But it looks as though they're all going to survive, all these Indominuses. So this may have to change slightly from, you know, who wins, who's left, to, uh, yeah, how many Indominuses can we cram into the Promised Land enclosure? Um yeah, I didn't expect this to happen, but I would have expected the Indominuses to fight to the death. I've seen them, in, I've seen them fight numerous times. They're all kind of huddled around the middle. Um, is there any more Indoraptors? Can I find a single one anywhere? No, I think that's, I think that's a lot. Yep, they're not fighting anymore. Mm, that's no good, is it? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to start tranking them then and lifting them into this enclosure. Let's just see how silly that can go. But at least it's answered the question. Um, 250 Indominuses versus 250 Indoraptors. Uh, the Indominus is the clear winner. Um, there's definitely no doubt about that. Um, real quick as well, if you have a suggestion for any large Battle Royale ideas, let me know. I'm, I'm happy to host them at 1080p Potato. Um... <laughs> Which only adds to the spectacle, I think. That just looks hilarious. No shadows. Um, yeah, right. I'm going to start tranking these guys up then. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's do ten at a time, say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One, two. Keep it on 16 times speed. Let's speed this up and see just how many of these we can cram. Literally cram into the promised land. We're, we're going to have to be folding them to get them in there, I think. But we'll we'll cram them in. Because, uh, yes, we want to preserve, uh, you know, the posterity and all that lot. There we go. Yep, go on. Is my, is my team completely ineffective? No they're, no, they're not bad. They're not bad. Okay, right, over to the promised land. Oh, it didn't pick them up. What is this? This is going to take a while. I'll get back to you when I've crammed 
all of these guys into here or the game starts breaking because of it. Okay, so, so far that's a lot of Indominuses in the promised land. Still keep finding a little bit of space to drop another one as well. So just as long as I can keep going, spamming another one in there. Eventually it does find a space where it will drop. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, the deal was whoever wins gets to live the rest of their life in the promised land. But unfortunately there were too many winners. That was the problem. So the promised land's going to turn into a little bit of a nightmare. But that's... Uh, there's not really much I can do. I spent all the money on hatcheries. So InGen's a little bit skint now. But, you know, have I managed to clear any of these out? No. Look, Just look how many are left. The, the Indoraptors just did not stand a chance. I'm going to keep going though. See if I can cram all of these into here. I very much doubt it. But... I'll get back to you when I've crammed some more in there. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I knew there'd probably be some clipping issues at some point. <laughs> I'm still going. I'm still going. Occasionally I do find space for another one. It's taken a while, but I'm still going. Yeah, so it appears we've had one that's managed to actually clip out. We'll, we'll deal with him in a minute. No, you, you have to spend your, your life in the promised land. Um, let's not be uh, messing about. Oh, still plenty of space. Plenty of space in there, yeah. Plenty. They're all clipping through each other. It's beautiful. Beautiful. My park rating. Oh, I don't know what. Oh, yeah, I'm on zero stars because the park's not actually open. Don't worry, I will open the park once uh, I've got all these in Indominuses in here. You know what I mean? That's, uh, that's a lot of effort for no visitors. You know, I'll, I'll say that the... Uh, the animal people have been and certified that they do indeed have enough space to breathe. <laughs> oh, well, there's still a lot more to try and cram in there yet. Um, I don't know if all uh, I don't know if all of them are going to fit. I'm going to keep going. I'll get back to you when I've crammed more of them in. Always room for one more. Yes, get in. <laughs> I've had to block off a little bit of this pathway um, due to I'm occasionally just managing to wiggle free. That's probably the, probably the best way to put it. The, they are starting to just clip through the walls. These guys are battered and bruised. Any medical help? Nope. Not today. Oh, there's still space. I can't believe. Yes, so... Let's, uh, let's answer the question. What is the ideal size enclosure for... 100 Indo Indominus <laughs> Rexes. <laughs> Nearly said Indoraptors there. Oh my god, they're cramming in. Look, look, at, look at this low pixel, low quality texture glory we've got going on over here. Come on, there's got to be space. There's, there's just got to be. There we go. There we go. Don't disappoint. I basically want to get them so they're wedged in like sardines. There we go. Oh, I, I didn't think that one was going to fit in there straight away. Okay, I'm still on triple speed, but I think they're kind of running out of space to even even operate normally. Oh, no, no, there's still space. That's been nothing but a blessing, that far corner. The promised land, look at that. They're, they're literally around nothing but their own species, the way nature intended. <laughs> Meme this. Meme this. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that corner. Come on. Far corner then. Far corner. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh, I think... What? Where's, where's the fighting? I missed it. Where's the fighting? Where are the fighting? Where? In here? Where's the fighting? I just said there was fighting. Huh? Huh? I missed it. Was the fighting in here? They definitely won't be fighting in here. They've got plenty of space. Ugh. I don't know. Let's see if we can wedge some more in. Let's see. 
Let's see how many we can wedge. Space there is that. There is the magic corner. Yes. More space. More space. Far corner. Come on. Provide. Dinosaur has just woken up. That's no good to me, is it? It's not good to me when they're waking up like that. So as you can see, I've expanded the promised land just a small amount just to make sure I've got a delivery area. But I think the width for that enclosure has kind of ruined the AI. Don't quite know what to do with itself. But occasionally I do find the odd spot, but it's taken a long time before any space opens up, you see. So... That little delivery area there seemed to be the best solution, but now that seems to have got too full. Mmm. Damn it. I never should have expanded the promised land. It's okay. I can always try and wall them back in. Oh my god, there's space. <laughs> oh, this is the most packed enclosure I've ever seen. Yes. I think the next video will be I'll set up an enclosure... A very small enclosure and just keep releasing dinosaurs just until they're just bursting through the walls. I've seen uh, on another challenge mode that I did, I crammed in some raptors in there and they started really glitching out. So um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see that video next. Um, obviously there are some mods coming out at the minute. I will be doing some mod install guides as well. So just a little bit of quick self promo there, but never hurts. I think I have possibly reached the limit of what is going to fit in there. And look, we've still got... I think I've managed to fit roughly about a third of them into there. So that's all good. Um, <laughs> there's not really much I can do uh, other than that. They, they are crammed in real nice. Gotta say, um, we have answered the question who wins out of 250 Indominuses and 250 Indoraptors. Uh, th there is a clear answer to that. And basically that is, it's an Indominus, by a large margin. Yes, indeed. Just look, it's 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 obvious, yes. Um, so it's time to put my PC graphics back up. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching, everybody. I know that's maybe not the, uh, the outcome you was expecting. It's definitely not the outcome I was expecting. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you all again very soon. Thank you for watching, everybody. Like I say, if you want this save file, message me in the comments. I'll put my Discord name in there, and I'll, I'll give you this pack with these hatcheries empty. Um, you may need some mods to run it, but, you know, I'll, I'll let you know what they are if you get in touch with me. But, I mean, look at the clipping issues in this. Uh, <laughs> just before I go, I'm just going to see if switching back to um, 4K graphics... With the uh, with the custom settings I was using um, before, they're, they're not actually the custom settings I was using. Let's try just high, okay? Um, before I go and just see if, just if it's gonna like this. Okay, so switching resolutions ends the recording. I don't know where that cut off, but let's see if I get an instant crash. Oh my goodness! You know what that means, don't you? It means I'm going to have to render this in 4K. Just so you can see this in all its glory. Look at the frame rate on that. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. That that has to be my new wallpaper. That's, that's quite abstract. I, I quite like that. There we go. Let's uh, go off the pause menu there. Can I get off the pause menu, please? Yep. There we go. That guy does not look happy. He really doesn't. Let's get a nice... There we go. This is going to be my new desktop wallpaper. Also, let me know if you want this image. I will I will, I will, will supply it. Look at that Indominus there. Look, oh my god, the, the patterns on this. I couldn't really pick them out before, but there we go. This is what's called an Indomi, Indomi mess. <laughs> I couldn't get my word out there. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Let me know if you want that image. I will provide. There we go. This is the promised land of Indominuses. There we go. And just, just to really illustrate how many Indominuses are in there. They're not going to be needing the trees anymore, are they? I mean, the, the trees are an absolute luxury. So, there we go. Let's get rid of the trees and we might be able to... No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. 
It looks as though there's a little bit more space there, but probably only for a few more, like five, ten more. I don't think I'm going to be able to cram any more in there. Okay, where, where are these trees? I said remove the trees, come on. Remove the trees and go for a snapshot in capture. There we go. And I will share this on the community tab. That's that's probably the best um, the best idea, yeah? <laughs> then you can all have this as wallpaper if you so choose. Um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the promised land. There it is. That's how many Indominuses you can wedge into an enclosure. Come on, take a picture then. There we go. Hopefully that saved. <laughs> yes, thank you for watching everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. Hit the like button, awesome stuff. I'll probably do some more battle royales at some point. I'll try and balance it a little bit better so there's not like 200 Indominuses left. Um, they're a little bit OP. Um, other than that, thank you everybody. Catch you all again very soon. If you want the save file, that's linked below. If you're on PC, awesome, I'll link that video. All the best everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.